Hello. I'm back. Again, with Pillars. It's only been six months. Um, something like that. I probably, I was trying to catch up on the end of the last video, but, uh, I did not do a great job. So, I don't really know what's going on right now, as always, with the last of these videos. It, it's, I'm sure it makes for an interesting contrast. My life has changed so much. Oh my. Abby of the Fallen Moon. Okay, <clears throat> so White Forge has been restored. Uh, find out how to call off the army. One of the stalwart delegates was a fanatical worship of Andra who killed herself before she could provide answers. I learned from her soul that she came from the Abbey of the Fallen Moon and that the abbot there knew, knows of the army and is able to call it off from a place he called a reliquary. If I can reach the room, I may be able to stop an invasion before it begins. The abbot also mentioned that uh, someone called a Tidebringer would be coming to replace him. That information could prove useful in infidel trading the place. Well, that's not this place, and I think I had a battle here. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Yep. Um, I'll see what I can find. The Forever Game Returns. See, Wolf, you might have better memory of what I was doing last time. How the fuck do I get out of here? I remember there was an army. I'm trying to call them off, and then I fought some of them. And now I need to go to the abbey, but I... I Oh, right, I think they killed everyone. So we might be able to... Yeah, this is right after fighting the giant robots. We gotta stop them, but they killed everybody, so that's cool. Um... Yeah, I guess we can just round up all the things. Probably don't need to sneak it even. We get a dog! Aww! I guess I was expecting more things of value. Um, bottom right to leave. Yeah, I should do that. Instead of investigating stuff. Okay, yeah, that I had a feeling that might do that. Sweet. Apparently I did not even clean up after the fight. Okay. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Did not mean to do that. Oh, yeah, I think I see the door where the giant robots came in. I learned where the front gate was. Um, we don't need any of this shit. Let's go to the abbey.
seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, uh, I didn't know how to get out. I didn't know what anything was or was going on, but I slowly remembered it. So that's good. Hopefully I'll be able to remember the rest of what is happening. Two horses. So you said the Eyeless came from the Abbey. I'd heard rumors of the Eyeless, but I always thought that name was a metaphor. Though I would have called them Mace Hands of Doom, if anyone had asked me. <laughs> That's why they didn't. So this is the mysterious army you've been dreaming about, huh? It's a wonder you're getting any sleep. That's why we're going to the Abbey. <sighs> I'm regretting all of my decision-making up to this point. Still, I guess a suicidal plan is better than none. Hmm, something on your mind? Well, knowing that I'm finally close to getting rid of this memory, it, it feels like it's right. crowding my head that much more. It's been with me for decades. Driven me halfway across the known world. Uh, perhaps you need to get it off your shoulders. <sighs> You're right. Take your time! It was a war. Centuries ago, before a deer in unification. Okay. She folds her hands in front of herself. I was a soldier then. Led a campaign across the northern forests to subdue some of the outlying Kalkwin villages. Brutal work. Go on. Lost a third of my forces to the forest and another third to the elven scouts hiding in it. By the time we reached the first village, we'd crushed their defenses, and they'd bled us. Mm. Wasn't much more than children and the elderly left, but they spit on us when we marched into town. Scowling. The village elders surrendered, and offered us lodging in the old meeting hall. And when the sun set, they tried to burn it down around us. They barely got a flame going, but that wasn't the point. And would that I'd had your principles. Seems In their defiance, serious. I saw months more of pointless, bloody battle as we fought for the rest of the region. I had to break them. And I had to send a message to the rest of the villages. So I nailed every last one of them to the trees around the town and left them there to die. Um, you'll be rid of this. Soon. Anyway, we should get going. <laughs> Something I've been saving for better days. I guess I didn't probe correctly. Okay. They don't want any outsiders, hmm? <coughs> Tell me about your mistress. Which one? Ha. Huh. Other ways? Why are you helping? Hope you find what you're looking for. Hmm. Hard to imagine a whole sect living out here, but I guess that's the point. It does seem I like should a not have peered over place. the edge. I could see no bottom. I'm the Tidebringer. Hell yeah. 
Oh, right. We knew that because I huh. read it. In the thing. Perhaps if you pray, the lady will allow you to forget. I am the tide bringer. You stand at the precipice of a fissure that time has torn into the mountain upon which the abbey stands. Whistling winds call out from the depths of the crevasse, uh, mournful wails hinting at the great descent from the edge of into the dark and lonely spaces below. Encased in centuries of rhyme, a gargantuan skeletal hand hangs awkwardly above the gap. Its fingers are splayed in a pain pose, uh, ice preserving the circumstances of the victim's death long after the flesh rotted away. Cool. Uh, with only the ominous moaning of the crevasse to disturb your thinking, you consider your options. Inspect the area. Considering the span of the gap and the position of the skeletal hand, you believe a well-placed grappling hook would allow you to reach the other side. Though positioning the hook may be tricky, the winds are not so strong, they would endanger attempts to cross. That's... yeah, cast your grappling hook. Uh, whoever casts the grappling hook will need nimble fingers to ensure a good throw. Uh, I forget who has nimble fingers. Um, also, what does nimble fingers mean? Yeah, actually, wait, what? can't decide if that's survival or athletics. Maybe a combination. Dexterity? Yeah, probably. 13, 17. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be me. Fun. Yeah, dexterity. Time to throw perfectly! Uh, between chaotic gusts whipping up from the crevasse, the grappling hook cuts an odd path through the expanse of violent air, the attached rope trailing behind in a bizarre spiral. Despite its odd course, the grapple eventually sails over the middle finger, its rope winding securely around the frozen bone. You give it two tugs and are confident it won't budge. And let's swing across. You stand at the edge of a crevasse you traversed with the help of a grappling hook and conveniently located giant skeletal hand. <laughs> so good. Okay. I guess we found a different hole in. This is probably, I presume, not the way the uh, Tidebringer was going to go, but whatever. Okay. Just some spideys. Hmm. Quick and quiet. Oh, hello. Uh, over 
the skeleton have trapped in ice. A faint trace of essence lingers in the cold air of the cavern. Let your soul envelop the essence. Ah, uh, once again. You're walking into an oblong ch chamber. The stones of its underground walls glisten, still wet from the floodwaters. A hand clasped on your shoulder. You hear a whisper. Arthric, I don't want to look. The memory vanishes, and now all you see is the slab of stone. You're staring at it, just inches away from the wall. Your fingers trace circles of, on it, digging into the moss that clings on its weathered surface. You're not sure how long you've been touching it. Perhaps you've always been. A scream jolts you. Its echoes thunder throughout the halls. Your ears hurt. Pain that digs deep, burrowing into your head like a twisted dagger. You run. Others run. You don't know them. You can't remember them. But somehow, you take comfort in their presence. Yes, they will help you with the pain, the noise. You'll kill it. The anger of the memory subsides. Now you're sitting down on steps carved of rock. Dozens of skeletons lie below, beneath frozen water. Their jaws hang open, silent. Yet what's that? A low rumble, gargling, growing, deafening. You snap your head to the side in anguish and see it. The water rushing down the halls, pushing you in a torrent of white foam. You fall, your mouth opens to shout, but your screams are muffled as it fills with water. Fun. Door is sealed shut. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, none of that works. Ready, Watcher. I've got this. Ready when you are. Let's see what's in here. As promised. Hmm. Will do. Nice and quiet. Just walking around. No more about Andra, goddess of oceans, forgotten things, lost, relentless, and mourning, said to have once fallen in love with the moon, and to have tried to draw it near with catastrophic consequences. People bring tokens to her temples of things they wish to forget, and her clergy sees the tokens cast into the sea. Cool. Should I have not done that? I don't think I should have done that. I mean, not without purpose. I mean, <laughs> we'll just pull the lever. I mean, it's there, right? You, Levers are there to pull. Okay. This area is forbidden. Hmm? I'm sorry, what? Where's this? Smells like an ocean breeze. We've got to be close. Okay, thank you for just putting me where I need to be, I guess. Aha! Where the other Andrites in the Abbey are clad in drab functional garments, this Aomawa 
just seems dressed for the occasion. His robe is bright and glossy. His neck and arms are bedecked with jewelry. Uh, the symbols of his goddess are cr crowded into every available <sighs> space. Good. The Conclave has elected a Tidebringer after all. I had begun to worry. And they took my advice in providing you an escort. Very good. I am sorry I could not make your journey easier. I am Kauto, the High Abbot. I can just immediately attack him. I came as soon as I could. And just in time. The May Queen's tide is nearly past its peak. Much longer, and we'd have had to wait another year. The rules of the Rising are quite clear on that, unfortunately. Uh, this... Uh... Well, uh, this quest gets very confused if you don't pretend to be the Tidebringer or don't go in the front. Um, when yeah, you are I ready, we will begin that. with the recitation. Yes, of course. I would not pass my station to you without passing that knowledge as well. It is the Abbey's most sacred chamber. When the rising is complete, I will take you there myself. In fact, the ritual demands it. <laughs> you seem nervous. <laughs> the Conclave chose you for a reason. For a oh, devout boy. follower of Andra, the answers will flow naturally to you. I remember my own rising. The Conclave sent me on the same exhausting journey. When it came time for the recitation, I could not remember a word. But it, our library Oops. is open to you, as are the grounds outside. There is a beautiful mural out there that you should see, if you haven't yet. And you may, of course, speak with the gift bearers here, if it helps your recollection. Take your time and examine these things before your recitation. Do not be afraid to fail. A lapse here or there is to be expected. But do take care in your work. Even my patience has limits. I was elected by the Conclave, as you were, but you already knew that much. It was unexpected. There were others more accomplished. I was merely a scholar. But they each had their faiths called into question, and no one could find cause to doubt mine. He smiles proudly, exposing for the first time yellowed, worn teeth. He seems f uh, conscious of your gaze and quickly hides them again. It was such an honor to become one of Andra's most trusted servants. It was hardly a choice at all. Okay, so I'll come back here when, you know, lady. We talk about ladies. What else do we talk about? Um... Thanks for all the stuff. Let's see what's in here. That'll do it. Wondrous blessings. I Seems never knew. Like a cafeteria. Did you hide in the white march after that? As far away as I could. The Dominels didn't care I was a gift bearer. Evidence is evidence. This area is huge and full of people. I'm glad I've done it in a way that they don't all want to kill me. The High Abbot imparted to me that I wasn't alone. That he has nightmares sometimes as well. Truly? Oh, mm -hmm. It Thank surprised me to hear it. He has such a peaceful manner. Wow, they're so giving. See, Wolf says, I was not noteworthy enough to be objectionable to anyone. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> a lot of these people are, kind of freak me out. I'll have this open in no time. As promised. Thanks for all the stuff.
Even with your labors, your presence of mind never falters. I don't know how you do it. Perhaps your thoughts would swim deeper if your tongue didn't come out for air so often, dear brother. They welcome me. Mmm, nice. smells fresh. That can't be the salt well. He seemed preoccupied. I expect I would be too in his position. Hmm. Halls of Silence. Chamber of the Full Moon. Hall of the Tidal Weave. Crested Hall. Let's go to the ramparts. You must gather your party before venturing forth. One day and 18 hours from now, that's... Seems fine. Yeah, we have all the things. Cool. Hmm. Seems like a chill place. Mm -hmm. You look pale, sister. Find someone to take your place. I'll stand watch. I'd hoped I was over this illness, but clearly not. I shall take your advice. Giant skeleton's leg. Even our visitor is to be turned away, he said. What interest would our quarters hold? Our quarters aren't the worry. It's our brothers and sisters below. Kauto knew Saman was upon us. The Tidebringer. It's been so long. My soul is ready, brother. Hmm. Should read up on what a Tidebringer is and does. You sure you want to go in there? Hmm. Passages. Is the giant skeleton's leg notable for being on anything other than a landmark? I don't think so. Cool. We f fully explored this awesome map. A copper sheen glistens under the layers of ice that cling around this giant femur with the colors of a rainbow. Cute! I love a giant skeleton. Thanks for all the shit. Uh, where's the library? That's my question. So I'm gonna need to read a book. I'll have this open in no time. That'll do it. A mural is rendered on the face of the rock wall. Four panels seem to be arranged as a story of some kind. Ah, Anthu, the end. Saman, the flood. Disaman, the ebb. Dianthu, the beginning. So it's like a title myth.
Is OBS having a hard time? It looks red. It's going between red and yellow. Oh. Um. Right. Well, we're just gonna keep it going. But I think I'm just, I'm going through a proxy, so that's fun. Hmm. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, and I know that if I turned off the proxy. It would split the video in two, and I don't want that, so we're just going to keep it going and hope it holds up. Unless it shuts off altogether, and then I'll split it, because, ah. Oh, that's, okay, that's where it came in. You know what, I'm, I feel confident if I just say enough see things. You know, how hard could it be? Let's save though. Are you prepared now for the recitation? Very good. We shall commence the rising. First is Anthu. Last is Dianthu, for the tide comes at the end Shit, and leaves that's at the all beginning. I, know. I am Disaman the Ebb. Who comes this way? Saman. Blessed be Saman, that washes over the shore and brings the end. Blessed be Disaman, that returns to the sea and leaves behind the beginning. A gift bearer comes to Disaman and asks him to bear his burdens away. What token do you offer, gift bearer? Oh shit. The token is received in Andra's name. Oh uh, shit. Tell me of your burdens. In Andra's embrace, I'm afraid you have mis- Think on the gift bearer's pilgrimage. I believe we have the text somewhere in our library. The recitation is archaic, but it is a sin. I was never big on doctrine, but there ought to be something around here to help us. It wouldn't be much of an- When you are ready- Fuck. I'm just gonna reload, because I can't bear the shame of embarrassing myself like that. Um... I guess I guess didn't explore this way. I need to learn some poetry. The For Andra, library. most like. Yeah, I've got some they surely here. long it's for here. her embrace. The salt well. All right. You know, I thought it'd be bigger. Looks Gift deep. bearers say the heaviest regrets and greatest sorrows get left here. So it better be. I thought you'd be diving in uh, by now. You know how when you've been thinking about something so long, you're worried that when you finally get it, it won't be what you expected? I mean, for all we know, that thing's just filled with leeches. Don't remind me. Uh, 
man. Hmm. There's a lot of good choices here. Uh, and I guess, yeah, she did kill a lot of people. But uh, I'll go for number five. Your suffering helps no one. Because, sure, peace sounds cool. Uh, you're right. <sighs> okay. Here I wanted to jump in the pool. Oh, that's cold. She descends the steps until she's standing in the water up to her neck. Oh, very funny. What year is it? <laughs> This is the water right man. pool, isn't it? Hey, gift bearer or not, don't think I won't pull you in here, too. <laughs> you said gift bearers come here. Maybe you have to leave something behind. I've got it! This bundle of cloth? Uh, and leather. Took this from the Marchezzo cellar the night I awakened. Been saving it for a special occasion. Could have offered me a drink first. She just pours a bunch of wine in the in the pool. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Stand back. Just grab her. Is she gone? Bubbles break the surface. What the? F <gasps> Whoa, that was crazy. Um, uh, I'm just going. <laughs> yeah, her soul did kill a lot of people. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Wait, what? She just forgot that she did that. I remember running, but I don't remember what chased me. And I remember fear. But I don't remember what scared me. And I gave something up, but I don't remember why. Then it worked? I'll take your word for it. Something drips onto the floor. She holds her right arm up and looks at the trickle of blood running from a cut in her hand. She takes the folded cloth, the one she'd wrapped the wine bottle in, from the floor and stenches the bleeding. She was granted a clean conscience. <laughs> Well, it's just that easy. We've got multiple level ups, thanks to the tentacle monster of forgetfulness. Beautiful. Let's see what's in here. That'll do it. St. Wig Wigelt's cudgel. A strictly devoted follower of Wodica. Why would this be here? Uh, Wigelt uh, was haunted by dreams of criminals committing horrific acts of violence only to escape punishment or receive one that was unduly light. She came to believe Wodica was speaking to her through these dreams, uh, demanding these people receive justice. Wigelt found these criminals in hideouts and homes and very often in jail, serving inadequate sentences. She would steal into these places... Uh, which were frequently under heavy guard, find her way to the criminal and pronounce the judgment of Wodica. Her incredible knack for reaching these places were in some instances later declared as miracles when she was canonized. If the criminal was lucky, it would only um, it would only mean disfigurement, but most were executed on the spot with Wigelt's cudgel. Cool. Uh, eventually, Wigelt's reputation spread too far, and many criminals that feared her began to set traps and issue bounties. When she was finally caught, she was clubbed to death with their own weapon. It is said that her fine... With her final words, she declared that she was a murderer and that she deserved this fate. St. Wigel's cudgel is a simple spiked club with a leather-wrapped handle. The wood itself is irreversibly stained reddish-brown with the blood of criminals. 
Cool. I'll take that. Thank you. Tentacles are an Andre thing? Well, they got me. Um, no. Do I have a... Let me look in my stash. Did I pick up a book that would tell me things about Andra? Not really. Hmm. Hmm. See, Wolf, if you know where a library is. But this is where I came in, right? Oh, wait. Down here. Haha. -ha. There's the library! And a whole lot of other shit that I didn't look at. People are so giving. This is the record. Yes. See that it is cast away with the others. Just read all of those, I guess, and all of these, and all of these. Oh boy. Uh, let's see which of these are actually relevant. The Sea and Her Love. Traditional Andrite hymn. The sea beheld her love shining bright from on high. She bade him come down from his palace in the sky. Her love could not be swayed, so she took a piece into her heart, and all those who saw her grief that day slept in her bosom still. Um. So love and grief. Cool. Oh boy, poetry. I'm not going to read this poem on air. I don't really want to read this poem to myself. But the wolf tracks my step. Uh, Monsters of the Dead Fire. Ooh. Barbed Ravager, Winding Serpent, Leviathan, Pulpovere. This is just like a preview of the second game. Um, cool. Enigmatic God of Cold. That's not. Andra. Uh, sing, O ocean waves of Andra's sorrow, of her unrequited love for the unattainable moon. Sing of the ancient of the ocean sorrow, so that we may forget our own. Each day, the tides reenact Andra's longing for the great moon. The waters reach out at high tide, yearning for the heavenly body, only to slump into low tide when the moon proves unattainable. You asked me why once why I uh, loved Andra so dearly. How I could go from a life on dry land to a being a devotee uh, the, to the goddess of the oceans. I sing the ocean sorrow so that I may forget my own. It is Andra's message that speaks to my heart, and I have devoted my life to helping others discard painful memories, for that is the gift Andra gave me. When I lost my young daughter, my wife and I were inconsolable until a gift bearer offered to take my toddler's toys and cast them into the deepest waters. Truth be told, I and the other gift bearers I know have never even spoken to Andra. She is largely silent, and when she does speak, she uses floods and tidal waves instead of words. But we sing of the ocean's sorrow so that others may forget theirs. Andra's story, the story of desire unanswered, actually matters to people like you and me. Malgren cannot steer you to victory over sadness. Hylia cannot force joy down a crying throat. Only Andra can give us the strength to persevere when life seems without worth. And that is the answer to your question regarding why I love my goddess so dearly. Cool. Um, Abaddon's hands. 
doesn't seem like something I need to know. Legends of Andra and Thin uh, explanations that the goddess's love for the moon causes tides. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, another myth that we have been quicker to dismiss, and I wonder if it is, does not merit further mention. Andrites tell of a smaller moon, Ioni Brother, that the goddess supposedly pulled from the sky in an earlier age. While such a thing seems impossible for Ioni Brother, still roams the skies above, it is true that the explorers in the far reaches have found mineral fragments that do not naturally occur. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. And Aorok. Occur on any known continent in Aorok. Uh, mm, minerals. Uh, furthermore, naturalists in Adir, Rautai, and the Deerwood have observed the remains of ancient ocean life many miles inland. Such a thing would only be possible if Aorok's oceans had once been larger or as I here propose, if a catastrophic flood had once washed over the continents. While few phenomena could cause a flood of this magnitude, a large body falling into the seas might just do the trick. In these pages, I will explain how some force of nature, if not an amorous goddess, could have pulled a small moon into your millennia ago. Interesting. Moons. Uh, so I guess we have to know the moons. Uh, any of those are in dead fire? That's good. If none of those monsters are in the second game. That's hilarious that they would provide a monster manual. Um, so, Balafa, travel. Uh, this is so much. Oh, man. Okay, let me try it again. I think this is enough information. What is that pink thing? Ooh. Let's save again. Are you prepared now for the rest? Very good. First, I am Disaman the Ebb. Blessed be so A gift mm -hmm. bearer comes to Disaman and asks him to bear his burdens away. What token do you offer, gift bearer? The sorrow of those who mourn. What? Is that the not The token right? is received in all. Tell me of your burdens. Hmm. Bear the weight of the memories of others? In Andra's embrace. I'm afraid you have misremembered some. Think on the gift bearer's pilgrimage. I believe we have the text. The, the recitation is our. I was never. When you are ready, we will. Yeah. Gift. Well, now I know what book I'm supposed to be reading, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Did I? Yeah, okay, I didn't read it because it wasn't in the book section, it was in the quest item section. So, a gift bearer of Andra is traveling along the road when she meets a man in tears holding a scrap of parchment. Why do you weep? asked the gift bearer. I hold here a letter from my wife. I tried to be a good husband, but this letter says that I was not, and that she has gone to seek the company of a better man. Now this is all that remains of her. Give the letter to me then, says the gift bearer, for once you have forgotten the letter, your wife can cause you no further pain. The man gives her the letter and finds his tears have dried up. He thanks the gift bearer and leaves at peace. The gift bearer continues on contemplating the man's story, but does not go far uh, before she encounters an old woman in tears holding a string of beads. Why do you weep? asks the gift bearer. I hold here a string of beads that counted the years of my daughter's life. Sickness took her while she was still a child. But she was denied the joys of a full life, and I the joys of a mother. This is all that remains of her. Give me the beads. Give the beads to me, then, uh, says the gift bearer, for once you have forgotten the beads, your daughter can truly rest. The old woman gives her the beads and finds her grief no longer gnaws at her soul. She thanks the gift bearer and leaves at peace. Thinking on the woman's pain, the gift bearer follows the road until she reaches the sea. In her hands she carries the letter and the beads. They are light in her hands but heavy upon her heart, and she is crying. 
She prays to Andra to allow the objects to be forgotten and cast them into the water. And yet, long after they have sunk beneath the waves, the gift bearer finds herself still weeping. Merciful Andra pleads the gift bearer, in your service I have, ple uh, I have helped people forget their troubles. Yet, though I pass them on to you, uh, I feel them still as though they were mine. How can this be? The gift bearer listens to the wisdom of the crashing waves until she understands. To feel the troubles of others in your soul is a bur burden itself. However, she has no token to give to Andra to bear it away, for the troubles are not hers to forget. I give myself to you, then, says the gift bearer, for once I am in your care, I, no memory may haunt me. And with that, the tide comes forth and embraces the gift bearer, and when it ebbs, she is gone. Okay. Are you prepared now Wait, for the rest? Let me look at the um quest log for this. It tells of the burdens of being a gift bearer. The lessons contained within may prove valuable. Okay, that's all it said. Are you prepared now for the rest? Very good. First, I am Disaman the e Blessed be. A gift bearer comes to Disaman and asks him to bear his burdens away. What token do you offer, gift bearer? I give myself, for a gift bearer has no other tokens to offer. It all makes sense now. The token is received in Andra's name. Tell me of your burdens. I bear the weight of the memories of others. In Andra's embrace, our burdens are lifted. I'm afraid you have. Has it what? been so long? The recitation. I was never. When you are ready. This is bullshit. I want to be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's. I want to be embraced by her. Uh, her waviness. Jump into the sea. Are you prepared now for the rest? Very good. First, I am Disaman the Blessed Beast. A gift bearer comes to Disaman and asks him to bear his burdens away. What token do you offer, gift bearer? Um. The sorrow of those who mourn. The token, oh. tell me of your burdens. It changes, it's not the same every time. Oh, I see. So reading the book may change the answers. That's a good point. Okay. Are you prepared now for very good? First, I am Disaman the Blessed Beast. A gift bearer comes to Disaman. The token is tell me of your burdens. I long to be reunited by her. What? In Andra's embrace. I'm a. F Has it been the recitation? I was never. When you are ready. How? Yeah, so is my lack of an extra answer there, meaning that I can't do any of them? Like, do I have to go find something else? Are you prepared now? There was somebody I was supposed to talk to, maybe? Uh -huh. Tosses the gem in the water. Disappears from sight as though it... Dissolve what happened to the gem, what gem the gem we tossed in the pool. Oh. 
All that belongs to Andra is forgotten, and all things forgotten belong to Andra. That was what I needed to know. specific line. Are you prepared now for the rest? Very good. First, I am Disaman. Blessed be a gift bearer comes to Disaman. The token is tell me of your burdens. I have In no Andra's embrace, our burdens so cool. are lifted. Super cool. The Tidebringer shows himself worthy of his charge. Your purpose here, Tidebringer, is to perform the ceremony of the rising. It is the transition of one phase of service to the next. On the level beneath us in the Halls of Silence, our low-tide brothers and sisters have lived for many years, sealed by their own will. It is time for them to be relieved of service, and for the high-tide brothers and sisters here to take their place. In the Halls below, you will find a relic, Andra's witness, an aspergillum for dispensing holy water but also something more. It is set into mm -hmm. a device it operates atop a flight of steps. The device will flood the halls of silence. This is the rising. It is the will of Ondra. Every monk assigned to the abbey understands and accepts this. The monks here have all mm. served as gift bearers. We bear away people's most painful memories and always a part of them remains with us. He's right about that much. In the Halls of Silence, memory itself fragments until it is no more. The Halls are a reprieve from a gift bearer's burden. In the end, the Halls take all memory, but the process takes a toll, as you might imagine. After many years when the process is complete, the rising is performed to give final peace to those who dwell there. This is your charge. Dying immediately seems preferable to losing all memory in the halls of silence, only to drown later. It goes beyond that. It is about duty as well. The Abbey is one of Andra's most guarded secrets. Death is no guarantee our knowledge will fade safely. It is necessary that the memories of this place be washed away. We do this in Andra's service. Hmm. What do I do in the rising? The high thing? tide is to replace the low and stand vigil in the halls of silence until the next rising. When you have completed the rising, bring Andra's witness to me here. I will show you the last of what you need to know. The device it operates is a simple valve mechanism. It will be clear to you when you see it. To reach your destination, you will need to know the sign of the tide which is kept only by the High Abbot. It's said that it is the first knowledge lost when the Abbot joins the low tide in the Halls of Silence. Watch carefully. I trust you will perform your duty, Tidebringer. Sounds like a bum deal, but I guess I will do it. Just a little mass ritual suicide, says Seawolf, and that does seem what it's all about. So that's... chill. Let's do some leveling up! <laughs> that sounds a little bit less unsavory. And then we'll kill everyone. After that. After we've leveled up. Survival seems good. Wave of spiritual energy similar to a priest soul is radiance. Okay, that's one of the bum skills, so at this point we should get get some sword skills. What kind of sword is that? Soldier. Great sword, pike, warhammer, arbalest, arquebus. I think we might already have one of those. Hmm. 
dangerous implement. No. One-handed weapon style? Yeah, let's just do that. Just make her into more of a beast. Yeah, I don't- I hope I don't get any XP for killing any everyone. I want to do all sorts of lore, so I'm going to do that next. Monk immediately inflicts enough raw damage. No, I don't want to do that one. Mm. Utility fast runner. Movement rate and granting a defensive bonus against disengagement attacks. Yeah, that seems really good for the monk, actually. Because I need to be running all over battle, like doing special punches against people. One-handed is distinct from weapon and shield? Fuck. Well... Well... Um... Luckily, she's got a two-handed pistol. Fuck, yeah. You know what? I think we can get through the rest of this game. Even with that. Um, this is such a good outfit. <laughs> Delayed fireball. Substantial Phantom. I think I'm going to do Substantial Phantom because that it sounds cool. Uh, hmm. Yeah, snakes reflexes. That seems good for a wizard. Substantial phantom. Be warned, the low tide have been in the halls of silence for a long time. Mind your center. My presence may. You always them. knew this time would come. I've seen the other side, brother. I'll find its waters again. Warm and soothing. Hmm. Giant skeleton hip. Cool, cool, cool. What is that? Grappling hook. Yeah. Ramparts. Make sure they receive extra. I'll not let them fall into the goddess's embrace with empty stomachs. Their supplies are bountiful, sister. I have seen to it. More free stuff. Wave crested key. That'll come in handy. I think I'm just gonna have to deal with them attacking me. Let's see what's in here. As promised. Wait, what do I... have something to throw in? It's key. Didn't he give me something to like throw? Or oh. Something something flight of steps. 
I bet that's past here. So... I may just have to murder everyone. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter if they're all dying anyway. I shall be quiet yeah. as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Wait, so can I do this with... Lead the way. Without alerting them? Just say the word. Hmm... Ready when you are. Not a problem. Like that? That's amazing. It just they just don't freak out that much. Okay. A it's all chill, place. everybody. We may as well be at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. Who's there? Oh. They're basically mindless. It is, it's not worth the hassle to sneak around anyway. Okay, that's chill. I can deal with this. I'll do a skyward kick on the priest, thanks. And then a freezing pillar sounds good. Do some martial prowess. Um, if you could hurry up and kill this guy, that'd be chill. companion let's do some generally good things um yeah let's just summon it Summon the dragon into this fight. Um, yeah, this paladin is on my butt, so that sucks. 
Everybody kill that guy, except for you, just keep I'm women on the wrist. <laughs> yeah, I kind of um forgot about Kana through most of the battle, and I was like, oh, I have enough to just summon a dragon. Why don't I do that? And it seemed to do a good thing, because I did a bad job uh, babysitting my barbarian. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that seems bad for you, buddy. <laughs> Different scenes of an ocean shoreline are carved into four stone panels, arranged almost haphazardly at different heights along a network of rails. Um, the panels affixed to a set of rails that curve and crisscross in patterns that remind you of seaweed. There are four depressions in the wall behind the rails in which panels look like they would fit. The panels variously show a barren shore, a city in flames, a flourishing city, and a tidal wave. Arrange the panels. It appears that any of the panels can be slid into any of the depressions following the network. First one is, um... Let's go with Flourishing City. City in Flames. Tidal Wave. Barren Shore. Oh, that was wrong. Um, Barren Shore. City and flames. Tidal wave. Prophet? Well, that. Hmm. Guess I haven't been paying attention, really. But I do need to go that way, huh? Tufts of downy gray hair spout from the back of this man's scalp like shrubs. His lower lip curls inward over a row of teeth that appears to have mostly fallen out. Uh, and a musty odor hangs about him like a Is fog. Is that you, Edith? It's I, me, Edith. I thought I'd lost you. I called for you. I wanted to search, but the blizzard lasted days. I'm, I'm so sorry. Squinces have tried but to wait. see better. I'm gonna grab water. We did find you. When the thaw finally came. 
I saw you. Rigid. Frozen. You cannot be Eddie. Uh, I'm not Edith, no. No, we are in, in the Abbey. Gift bearers. And you, you must be the tide bringer. Then listen well, tide bringer. Kauto does not know what he asks. Nor did I when I performed the Tidebringer's duties so long ago. Okay. The Halls of Silence. They take our minds, memory by memory. It would be peaceful, we were told, like going to sleep. Hmm. Look around you. We, the low tide, who have been sealed down here all these many years. Do we seem at peace to you? We are lost, terrified. What do you want? There is a, a relic, an aspergillum, it was called. What was it? Well, it doesn't matter. It controls the floodwaters. But also the outer floodgates. Andra's Witness. That is the name. It is down here, but I don't recall how to reach it. The High Abbot knows. If you can find out from him, you could set us free. Open the gates. We would leave in peace and finish our lives in dignity. We are all so old now. There is little <laughs> damage we could do in this state. Morality thing. Once we are free of this place, we will be able to make memories again. The confusion and paranoia will pass. Sure, that seems like totally real. Use the door behind me. Safer that way. Uh, yeah, it's safer. Oops. So wait, maybe I can talk to him and get them all out, and then just unleash them into the world? Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, having the Twitch dashboard. Yeah, most of them are dead already. I don't know, I guess we'd just be those for people in the outer rooms. Yeah, but the Twitch dashboard with my stream health just going bing, 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 bing. This is a great, great idea should always forget to turn off is it my done then it is my duty to ensure you understand it fully the device it operates is a simple valve mechanism it will be the device will flood the halls of I trust you. hmm wait the reliquary is this way Oh, this seems chill. A long time ago.
Hmm. Just more free stuff. So, do I just walk through this? Hmm. Hireling payday. Well, that's good, because I'm about to be attacked, and they should defend me. I just moved... I cleaned under my computer desk all day, so I'm just moving stuff back into place. Um... Hmm. Okay, so is that in another book the answer to the riddle? Or do I just have to think about it logically and I haven't done so yet? We'll find out. I can ask this. Ah, uh, hello. The Tidebringer comes to replace the High Abbot. The ritual is called... It is called... The... The Rising. Yes. We carry so many memories. Tragic or... Or dangerous, some. We is live above for world? a time. Devoted to Andra. Then we come here to forget it all. Wash our souls clean of the memories. When it is done, a Tidebringer is summoned. Those above, the High Tide. Maybe, but not before the old Low Tide are removed. Drown. Did we? We did. We chose it when we thought it was our duty and that it would be peaceful. But the more we forget, I think I know the that. less we understand. Every day, something familiar becomes strange. If I had known, I'd never have accepted my assignment to the Abbey. Nor would many, I suspect. He made his choice when he was of sound mind. He's not himself anymore. Better to finish the ritual and release him back to the wheel. Look around you. We, the low tide, who have been sealed down here all these many years, do we seem at peace to you? We are lost, terrified. Okay, bye. Use the... I think I know. Burning city first. Then tidal wave. And barren shore and then flourishing city. Hooray! Smile tile is about waist high, slides back. Beneath there is a carving, a chosen image of an ocean wave curled around a crescent moon. Perform the sign of the tide on the hidden carving. Yeah. Hmm. Can I walk on the water? It does seem so. Chamber of Tears. Embedded in this 
deep semicircular slab is what looks like to be a vessel for the sprinkling of holy water. In this context, however, it looks more like a lever. There are images engraved on the wall behind it, one of a rising wave, one of an open gate. Point the object toward the open gate. In the distance, you hear the mechanical snap of rusted locks and the groan of iron hinges. Yeah, seems like the good, the good thing to do. I think I did it right. Well, they seem happy. I'm sure this will end well. Very good, Connell. Oh, for another fourth level. So synced the biting winds of Eld Naring. Devastate the enemies with a powerful blast of cold air that infl inflicts freeze damage and slows movement. Uh, what Brown Naka found down deep summons a swamp spore. I don't think I need to, any more summons. Chanter fills himself or herself with frantic energy, significantly attacking at attack speed. Um, yeah, actually, I think the attack speed sounds good. Just doing shots. Uh, what gun is this? Recovery penalty while moving. Ranged recovery when moving. Hmm. That seems good. forget to level up Sagami. Yeah. Faithful companion passive. Done and done. Itumak has got to be the beefiest doggy. So I'm kind of afraid to go back up there. So we're all on track. Um, I think we just go this way. You must gather your party before just venturing don't forth. Don't go by Kautos. I think we'll probably go for another half hour, forty minutes. Uh, I certainly am not going to finish the DLC, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to try again stream um, I'm gonna be streaming a lot more I think in the next uh, couple months which is good so hopefully I will get to it and I will remember to turn off my proxy so I can do a nice good long one. Oh well I guess hmm I guess they're all aggroed Hmm. 
let's bring that Drake in again. I guess this isn't uh, gonna go as easily as I thought it would. Who brought skeletons to the party? It definitely wasn't me. goal is to pick I'll start a stream earlier on the weekend. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna do the next Oh you're not in my party. Wow way to punch my dog. That's not Yeah, so I'm just gonna go next time. So the same until I finish this. Sure thing. And then I'll do maybe. Well, we'll see how I'm feeling that time. I'm not gonna make any promises because this is the stream that cannot make promises. Um, but I'm just finish the end of the game because I've already gone through it before and I don't need to necessarily spend a lot of time. Although it would be good to you know see it again talk about it. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I might need to do another stream for the end of the game, and then I will be released. My soul will ascend, and everything will be good. Oh, You've speaking made of a grave things mistake. being good. I will correct it in Andra's name. How would you like a barbaric blow to the face? Okay, some stuff seems to have happened. Wow. Uh, I don't like any of this. to focus on some stuff that's all, uh, at hand. Jesus Christ. Settle. 
Who keeps summoning all these goddamn skeletons? Just keep doing what you're doing. This fight seems to be all sorts of fun. Uh, I just kicked him across the screen. That seems buck wild. some healing. Engaging the archer seems like a good use of things, but also please don't die. Oh lord, I'm dead. Everyone seems very alive. Distressingly so. Okay, wizard's dead. This is not going great. Join us. Uh, going very bad. Okay, let me try that again. I think I should maybe be a little more mm, offensive. Defensive? Something offensive? I should kill more of them and die less. I think that's the plan. You've made a great. Substantial Phantom. Okay, so started by kicking people into the air, which is good. Um, 
that seems annoying. So I like it. Come on, wall. This is already going bad again. Okay. That's 105 damage, which is pretty good.
Oh, there's multiple now. This seems very bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, Maneha's down, so... Things are just going really splendidly. should really just die. This does seem to be going badly. Tumok, stay close. Are they healing? I'm ah. Join arms. I think I should try and stay compact. You've made a grave mistake. Yeah, that's sort of compact. Um, yeah, just suck him in and drop poison on him. That's my entire plan, kind of. Did I knock one of them out? Hmm. Let me use 
is my bone bone thing. Ice bones. <laughs> That didn't seem to go down super well. Death ring. That sounds like more my speed. I think it's time to get our dragon out. Oh boy, I think we're boned again. Just give this really one more try. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, maybe I should try and drink more potions at the start of the thing. That always seems good. You've made a grave.
in doubt, use potions. going on. already down like so much health what the fuck this is feels hopeless So many of them. You've made a grave mistake. I wonder if I, yeah, it's possible to like get the one guy off. Just not have that. Nope. Like, why can this guy just teleport? That, to me, seems slightly unfair.
Yeah, monk kick. Um, great for me. Not great fighting against it. Speaking of which, let me do a monk kick. Let's try and kill him before he shapeshifts again. I mean, I don't know if that even really works, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, that's the thing where he knocked out. Oh, oh. Yeah, that that. Uh, well, I, I sort of did that, except for I had Palagina and Maneha and this dragon and Itumak, I guess, hold the middle, while we killed Kaoto before he could uh, shapeshift into three people, which is the ultimate dick move, IMO. Hey! Wow, that wasn't such a disaster. All I had to do was try three times. It turned out that the best strategy to fight a monk was to send in a monk. So I could, like, um... Oh, hello. So I could counter monk, or at least just keep him occupied. And by occupied, I mean on his ass. It's hard to split into three when you're on your butt. Um. Incredible! A titan right out of the stories! Oh, let's look inside! I want to save that, because that's hilarious. Let us look inside. Lodged between rows of crystalline rock, a large fragment of mental metal protrudes. It looks as though it might be possible to pry it loose. Should I pull out the metal fragment? At your touch, the splinter of metal begins to glow orange. Heat surges up through your hands and arms and envelops you with such intensity you feel as though you are melting down. Ooh. The heat spreads to the world around you, turns it orange and then yellow and then white. The ground, the sky, everything around you drips in molten globs and begins to take shape beneath you as if in an invisible mold. You and the shard are the last things to melt and fall, and your addition to the molten pool completes the shape of an immense hammer. The metal cools as quickly as it had heated. The handle is gripped now by two le leathery hands, and the hammer is cocked back over a shoulder as broad as a mottled hilltop. And as broad and mottled as a hilltop. The wielder whirls around and heaves the hammer, and you are flying upward for what seems like ages into the airless blackness above. As you spin, you catch glimpses of a rock large enough to be a moon. It is close, far too close to the world. 
The force of the impact shatters hammer and stone alike. The rock is redirected outward, but a section of the front face is cleaved off and begins to fall, splintering apart at the cracks. In a hundred thousand fragments blossoming outward in all directions, debris showers the atmosphere, trailing smoke and fire. Below, land and sea are far off, but gradually rising up. Look to the sea. Largest of the fragments, wide as the city, barrels downward in a fiery cocoon. Its size reduces as the edges immolate, but it won't burn up in time. It lands silently in the distant ocean, sending a column of water skyward and radiating ripples that spread like wrinkles in fabric. Then the sound comes tearing up through the sky. It sounds like thunder. Look to the land. Features are becoming clearer by the moment as you streak toward the earth. You are lodged in an enormous boulder, falling among other smaller fragments that heat and burst around you on all sides. Beneath you, snow-capped mountains rise up, dotted here and there by the cities of Stone and Adra. Uh, the impact will be the destruction of them all. The shadow of your rock fragment is visible now, getting larger by the second. You are moments away from striking the ground when a massive shape throws itself into your path. The last thing you hear it sounds like another rumbling impact, but this isn't what it is. It's a chuckle, relieved, breathless. You hear two words, made it. Some giant fight this hammer or something? I don't... Everything goes dark. You open your ha eyes. The metal hammer fragments have come free, and you now hold it in your hands. It is warm to the touch. Air around you is suddenly turbulent, spiteful. A cold, damp wind whips your face. Salt crystals collect in your nostrils and the creases of your eyes. The floor below you becomes blue-gray and glassy, churning and rolling, and when you fall, you crash through the water. Violent waves hurl and spin you. Something slithers around your ankles, seizes you with incredible strength, drags you down into silty depths. When the pulling stops, you are hovering at the center of an endless blue abyss. You can neither... You can see neither surface nor floor. You seem to be facing downward, but there is no way to be sure. A voice sounds from everywhere at once, and the immense pressure wave of each utterance sends you reeling. Deceitful wretch! Grave robber! You yeah, who sorry. dig for that which you did not bury, speak! Explain yourself and be judged! Um... I was looking for the privy. I think I will go. I would seek a means of defeating an army that threatens my lands. You seek what is mine, what was rightfully lost. Your actions speak for themselves. The battery opened, the forge ignited. You set free <laughs> souls that, that hid from me, that stole from me and evaded my judgment. The dwarves sealed their own fate. The forge was meant to be forgotten. Oopsies. And now, here you are again, denying peace to the buried. Turbulence around you calms. Silt settles like a slow exhalation, and the vast dark seascape beyond the murk fades in. Rays of light trickle down from far above onto green gold columns of kelp that rise from the depths and sway back and forth in the current. Fish and mollusks patrol them in groups of hundreds and thousands. The nearest pass you with watchful eyes. Um, the army that destroyed the doors, the eyeless, are they what yours? What the world cast aside, I take into my care. A thing may be forgotten, but it is never alone as long as I am here. They were lost children, abandoned, fixed on a purpose mm. that no longer had meaning. I took them in, gave them new purpose. I did not create them, but yes, they are mine. What new purpose? Some things that are forgotten must never be remembered. Not merely for the benefit of those who forgot, but for the entire world. There can be no second thoughts, no sympathy or stays of execution. The Eyeless were born to fulfill this task, though even their creator did not know it. They are single-minded and relentless. I mean, they kill those who remember what you want forgotten. 
They do not flinch when called upon to do what is necessary. Kith owe them a great debt for the troubles they have hidden away. Yeah, who created you them? must have some idea. The metal bones. The hands shaped for building. Who else but Abidan could conceive such children? They were his assistants. Hmm. They carried out his work on Aora. Andra, uh, Seawolf says, Pillars of Eternity 1, Andra is formless, shapeless, and speaks from the void. Pillars of Eternity 2, and then there's a tweet. Um, one of my, one of my fondest memories of di uh, Pillars memories was in the heat of nitty-gritty development. The entire team was so busy doing their thing that by the time that anyone noticed I drew Andra this way, it was too late to stop me. And Andra is, looks like a giant fish woman. Uh, oh man. Yowza. Good lord. Um, he shaped their bones in the white forge. Breathed his own spirit into them as a bellows sparks Do you, flame. like, really meet the gods face to face in Pillars 2? Because that seems wild. But he has long been the overseer of progress in the world. Leaving things behind has always been his way. I allow him to leave his past in my care, so that it does not hold him back. I... I suppose we do. But then, the gods have always been able to accomplish far greater things when working together. You may ask. It was never meant for more Awfully use. chatty for a god. Such power, such truths lie within it. It can bring only ruin. When the Pargrunin came to the White March, they were peaceful. They shared common beliefs and purpose. Their visions for the Forge tore them apart. You have seen this for yourself. They would have destroyed themselves in the end. Hmm, how convenient. You need only look to the history of your own civilization for assurance. How many wars, how many fallen empires might have been averted if only their leaders could forget the objects of their ambition? I mourned the loss of the Pargrunin. Misfor Do not play coy with a god, Watcher. I know you have seen his death. I feel it whenever a forgotten thing is taken from me. Abidin did not deserve to die here. This place, it was the least I could do to give his remains some privacy. The least I could do for ending his life. I mm. call the moon down to me, Ioni brother. It was against his wishes. He would not listen to reason. Would not listen to me. In his madness, he splintered the moon. But it was not enough. The greatest of the fragments still fell toward that which he would protect. In the end, he took position where it would fall. And absorbed the impact himself. That time has been forgotten now. And so his death belongs to me. Everything he was before the impact. Yeah, gods killing gods. Seems chill. Current surges through the kelp bed, pushing each plant sideways like saplings in a hurricane and propelling you backward amidst a torrent of wayward fish. No! He cannot know! He must never know! Understand, he was not always as he is now. His body was not all he left behind. He was devoted to progress and industry from the beginning. But so too was he devoted to preservation. In those times, he would let nothing go. Nothing could be forgotten. His will was iron long before his body. Time has finished much of what I started. I cannot tell you that, mortal, for fear of undoing all its costly work. The other gods knew what had to be done, but they lacked the will to go through with it. Even gods have their attachments. 
to erase all knowledge of such a grand thing required unthinkable devastation. The Eastern Reach, Deadfire. Mine was the only solution. Yeah, totally reasonable. When I called down Eoni Brother, they remained silent. Even Abaddon, he knew it was for the best. But he tried to stop it all the same. Perhaps deep down I knew he would. I should have expected it. I could have stopped it. Mm, preservation. We agreed long ago, all of us, not to alter the course of Kith's civilization. Not directly. Not unless there were no other choice. Okay. But in this matter, there was no other choice. He understood that as well as anyone. It was for duty that he opposed it. I would have stopped it if I could, but by then it was too late. You may ask. The great conundrum of a god is how close Let's ask to become more about this your moon. subjects. Too far and they lose hope. Too close and your own judgment fails. Civilizations are meant to ebb and flow. Allow them to persist for too long in power or knowledge, and you invite catastrophe. Oh, I was gonna ask where Muta was, but he's on the... probably can't see him. He's on the... oh no, I think he can. Muta, say hi! He's on the kitchen table. Yeah, I mean, I I wish I there could call moons down whenever I was having a bad day. Us. When memories were allowed to persist that should have been washed away. The other gods could not be moved to act. I did what had to be done without them. I speak of what is forgotten. I failed that day, but my purpose was achieved in the end. I will not dredge up the memory to satisfy idle curiosity. Let's use our perception skills. Talk her down by saying... Well, the just death pointing of a god is a calamity. You are living in the aftermath of one such death. Surely you can understand said that sympathy can't get in the way. What about yours for Abaddon? He deserved better. Of all the other gods, he was the only one who acted, who held to his convictions. The goddess of relentlessness, relentlessness must have appreciated such a quality. I, yes. I admired him for that. Oh, you loved him. Whatever he was to me, it was not meant to last. Always our duty is to Aora first. I knew he opposed what I intended. That he would wish to preserve what I meant to destroy. I knew it would cause a rift that might never be mended. But I never imagined he'd go so far. I never imagined it would mean I would never know him. As I once did. If he doesn't remember dying, why not begin again with him? See, Wolf saying, uh, ch -ch -ch gotta, well, let's, gotta love someone whose solution to a problem is hit it with the moon, which is very true. And this is related to the end of the game, of course, and the memory that she wiped out by destroying everything. Yeah. Because it might cause him to remember. No, mortal. Better that we should exist as we are now. What happened once must never happen again. Bad enough that I am cursed to remember it. You may ask. On the contrary, mortal, their work must continue. Far too much was uncovered while they laid dormant. Hmm. Draw attention to the thing Those you are trying to Those who know too much of the White Forge will be washed clean from Aora. And then the eyeless shall rest once more. 
Now this will tear the deer wood apart, and it will never be forgotten. Even if it is as you say, there is nothing that can be done. Sophie's scratching on a post, and we're just the eyes do not at think for themselves. They have only the purpose that is given to them. They do not stop until the purpose is fulfilled. They will not change course now for me or anyone. I am sorry. But Kauto only said if so. those they pursue are no longer a threat. The raid Sarens were stopped before they could take the White Forge. In your case, Watcher, you are well beyond that now. And if what you say is true, then the Deerwood is as well. The interventions of gods seldom work out in anyone's favor. Our touch is too heavy. The world crumbles beneath it. That's remarkably restrained. It is why we so often enlist the help of mortals. They execute our wishes with greater care. I have done far too much already. If you Your won't stop them, then I will. Commendable. But the eyeless number in the thousands. You will need more than strength or luck. I will give you what aid I can. I bade the eyeless to remain hidden when at rest. They are gathered in the hollow of a great rock, splintered from Aeoni Bravo. It lies in a flooded crater known as Cairn's Scar. Know, too, that they were built to answer the call of their master's hammer. When they hear it strike, they come to its aid. If you were to take that piece of his hammer from here and reshape it in Abaddon's forge into a likeness of the original, you might be able to call them to you. But destroying them would be another matter. This seems chill. I know of one way, but only from the center of the lion's den. Only with their master's hammer in your service. If you can do all this, if you can reshape what remains of Abaddon's hammer and bring it inside their lair, Sophie. I can instruct you there on what you would need to do. And I will see you through when the time comes. Uh, yeah, I will make if a you hammer. Do not be assured. They will come for you as they did for the Pargrunen. Careful as you approach the lake. When I claimed the Eyeless, I made sure they would not be discovered while they slept. Many of my most devoted followers stand watch there. Oh, they will not it's allow me near. It's a Sophie. And there is something far worse. Something more fearsome a and dragon? dangerous than any eyes. Is it a dragon? Let us hope you do not attract I hope attention. it's a dragon. So I can set it free. Can't just add that in there casually. Um, yep. So it sounds like we're not going to find out what that is, which is cool. That is a very good emoji. Is it like a, a Felix? Some kind of stomping cat. Stompy stomping cat. Sophie, you're a licking cat. Okay, that was not... What I meant to do. Yeah, baby, you're being sweet. Nice. Which you generally always are. Halls of Presence. Yeah, let's go that way. I think. If 
From the eastern reach to Adir to Old Phalia, people of all ages are manifesting a strange distinctive mark somewhere on the insides of their left thigh. Uh, so it is difficult for Durance to track down the cult that had taken a special interest in the marked people over such a large area. Eventually, Durance managed to rout the small cell of the cultists and discovered a wealth of incriminating documents. The group called themselves the White Flame and believed that the marked uh, individuals were meant to be vessels for a reincarnation of Aethys. The cult had started kidnapping marked people and taking them to holding areas for observation and experimentation. A map that Durance discovered laid out several of these cells, as well as new locations that they intended to target. With the assistance of the shield bearers of St. Elka, Elka uh, Durance was able to raid one of their strongholds in the Sithwood. It is unclear if the power of the White Flame is truly broken, but the abduction stopped shortly after Durance's intervention. And we got an amulet. Cool. Shortcut exit? There seems to be. Yeah, that doesn't seem... Like, they should just try and kill a god or something. That's where the real money's at. Okay, Sophie. We'll be done soon. And then... Do you want a second dinner, baby? Yeah? Have you earned it? I don't know about that. You might just puke. Well, this is a shortcut to somewhere. Oops. I'll go on ahead. Yeah, and it didn't go this way. Cool. Yeah, if she had second dinner. I mean, I was thinking about being really nice and giving him second dinner, but she'd definitely puke. She. They. Oh, you can break in here and get the key without doing the recitation. Well, I got the key. Well, I guess I just learned that there's no reason for me to get done early, but I'm still going to end the stream soon. Although, yeah, actually, I should just go to bed early, like a responsible, cool person. Oh, hey, more free stuff. Not sure why we're sneaking. Travel directly to the foundry in Durgan's battery. Shortcut. Wait, have I not been here? Be cautious. Be constant. Uh, I'm pretty this sure no I've been here before. That'll do it. Hmm. I guess maybe since it's been lit up. Recreate the hammer. Sweat drizzles down my bod. Puddles at my feet. Arm grows sore with each swing of your forge hammer until you can barely lift it. Minutes turn to hours. As Ebadon's hammer begins to take shape, the ring of your own hammer against it takes on a familiar tone. One that you have heard in your dreams. With each strike, an image flashes in your mind. It is hazy at first, but it gains details as the hammer begins to resemble the original. It looks like a dragon. I'm just going to say that. 
Over time, the image becomes a frozen landscape centered around a crater lake. Eyeless patrol its frozen surface in droves, and this can only be the place Andre described. Kron's scar. Uh, the eyeless pause here and there when you strike and look up, as though hearing the echo on the wind. In the distance, as more details appear, you can see the other landmark, Stalwart, Durgan's Battery, and you understand where the lake lies in the White March where you must take this hammer. Finally, with the careful etching of the last detail of your chisel, the hammer is completed. No sooner do you make the final mark than you feel a pure, radiant energy pulsing from within, like a mechanical heartbeat. There is an indescribable beauty to the shape and the weighting and the design. It feels as if this is the realization of the metal's purpose. You take up the hammer and its power rushes over you in waves, and it shakes your body so hard you nearly drop to your knees. The tremor passes, but the surge of power remains. The hair on your arm stands on end. In your hands is a faithful recreation of a divine instrument. I thought it would be bigger. <laughs> Damn it. The dragon head is the forge. Please don't make me fight. I've heard enough. This threatens all of us now. She's right. We've got to fight together. See, Darian, he'll tell you. We can stop him. If he's seen them, he knows better. Something killed a whole crew of hunters out in the wood. Oh. Tore them apart like dolls, insects. Something like the creatures that attacked my fort, perhaps? I told ya! All we gotta do is get him in range of these cannons, and then we blast them. We don't even know what they are. I do. And if you want to live, you'll shut up and listen to me from now on. I came to offer my clan's help. The White March has been our home for centuries. We'll defend it alongside you. Hell yeah. Sound it anywhere in the White March, and three of my best warriors will be at your side. Your battles become ours. Ogre buds, ogre buds. Whew. So glad that wasn't a fight. <clears throat> what, what's your plan for dealing with them exactly? That lake's notorious. Folk never come back from that. Oh. You'll need all the help you can get. I have fewer men to offer than I would like. But the iron flail stands ready. Our siege weapons are at your disposal. The same ones you threw at the battery's walls? These eyeless will come for us all if they aren't stopped here and now. Forget it. You're not bringing your army into our backyard. Tell him. Darian, I know you didn't just tell me what to do. And Eric stays and that's final. <laughs> Darian. Uh, Derek's right. We need to work together. It's no time to worry about what's past. Yes, you're right. Do Won't the nice anything thing. Left of if I don't know you didn't tell me anyway. what to do, Darian. You know, if you could ready those heavy cannons, I might could back you up with some extra firepower. If those things are on the move, we don't have much time. If you're really gonna stop them, take this. It's the best of the ore we've pulled from Stalwart's mines. It's not much, but it's good enough to make the old Pargrun and Smiths proud. I'm sorry about what I said before. Just don't take it out on the rest of the village. Okay. Burning pitch trebuchet.
that dragon. The dragon in the drawing did not look like that. It looked a little different, I'm just gonna say that. Um, yeah, I guess I should save and quit now. Um, but thank you for joining me. This has been fun as always. I look forward to actually beating this game someday soon. Hopefully. We'll see. Not gonna promise anything. Ha 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 ha. Overwrite save file from 2017. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Okay. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Happy Pillars Party! Whee! Whee!